Hey everybody, just uh, want to give a quick tutorial on how a Friday night high school football will work for you. First things first, follow my list. If I give a list of games in order, go to those games in that order because I do it for a reason. If I know a game is going to be a blowout, I'll give you that game first. I want you to go there first, get a couple quick highlights and get out of there. Then you get to your second game, which hopefully is a closer game and you can get some more meaningful highlights. But, uh, you know, it stinks if you go to a game and it's already 50 to nothing. You're not going to really get anything meaningful. So just follow the list that I set out for you. First thing, when you get to the game, run up to the press box, take your phone and take a picture of both rosters, both teams' rosters, because that way we'll know they're correct, we'll know they're current. Some of the rosters are online, some of them we have, but they're ever-changing. So just go up there, take a picture of the rosters so you have them when scripting, because it's going to come back to that a little later on. Then... I want you to get an establisher shot. The first shot that you're going to show in the highlights is a five or six second shot of something just so we have time on the air to say, hey, we're at Somerville High School, Green Wave are taking on the Sumter Gamecocks, whatever it may be. So a shot of the cheerleaders for five or six seconds, a shot of the coach for five or six seconds, shot of fans for five or six seconds, whatever it may be, just give me a five or six second establisher shot just to establish where we are, not just have to jump right into the highlights. It just gives me a little bit of lead time to uh, explain, you know, where we are. When you're shooting the highlights, there the standard way to shoot it is on the field. If you are about 30 yards ahead of the play, you want the play to be coming at you, the offense to be coming at you. So how do you do that? Well, if the play is starting on the 50-yard line, you want to go to the 20-yard line, so you have 30 yards for that play to come at you. If you're standing right there on the line of scrimmage, you're going to end up having to turn and jerk the camera, so it's it's not as easy. So be ahead of the play. Be, you know, Have the play developing in front of you. If the play starts, you basically just want to follow the ball. Follow where the ball is going. If you lose it, go back and find it. No big deal at all. Quarterback gets the ball. You're following him. He throws the ball. You follow the ball. The receiver catches the ball. You follow the receiver. And then let it pad out at the end of the highlight. Let it go for a little while. Give it a little room to breathe. That way we have a little room to talk. You don't want to just cut the camera off uh, as soon as you get that highlight. What is a highlight? Touchdown. Interception. A sack. A safety. If necessary, a field goal. Don't need extra points. Unless it's to win the game, don't need an extra point. Just don't need that. But a touchdown, an interception, a sack, a safety, a great tackle, a great catch, those are all highlights. Whatever we can do to condense the story, to tell the story quickly with the, with the best video. From each game that I go from you that you go to, I'd love for you to get three or four highlights, three or four 10 second highlights. Probably, it, it, you know, they're all going to be different times. You know, a kickoff return for a touchdown that could go 15, 20 seconds, but that's going to be a great highlight. That's fine. I don't care. But uh, the, the standard would be 10 seconds or so. So how would you do this? So you shoot the game. You get a couple of touchdowns, say you get two touchdowns and an interception, say they're each 10 seconds or so, great. If you don't feel comfortable shooting on the field, the second way would be to go up into the stands. Uh, you could set up a tripod near the 50-yard line and follow the action wide. The video I'm showing you right now is a college game. It's not a high school game just because I had that on my laptop, but that's fine. Uh, you'll see that you're know, shooting up top, you get a wider perspective. It's much easier to follow the ball, uh, and that's fine. I have no problem shooting up top or down low. Whichever way you feel more comfortable, that's fine. Do it. Other thing, don't get held up at a game forever to where you're going to miss deadline. Because if you miss deadline, th th this is not stuff we could run the next day. We've got to write it 
and run it that night. So don't get caught up. Know where your, uh, your surroundings. Know if you're out at Timberland or you're out in Monk's Corner, you might not have great cell phone service. You're going to have to take some time, give yourself time to get back into town, into Goose Creek or Somerville or wherever you're going to edit and feed your video back where you're going to have good cell signal. So just kind of be cognizant of where you are. So you get to a game, you get your rosters, you get your establishing shot, you shoot the game every play until you get a couple of highlights, you know, say three or four highlights. On that final highlight, let it pad out, pad out, pad out. Give me 20 seconds of pad on the end of it, just so we know, you know, we have enough time. It's not going to run out of video. So when you're putting the highlights together, literally just edit it, establishing shot, Highlight, 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 pad. Three highlights, four highlights, and pad. Just let it go. Super easy, uh, super sustainable. Like we can keep that within the show, no problem. And, and then we ask you to give us a script. So a script for those highlights could be very simple. It does not have to be wordy. You don't have to know a ton of football. Just give me establishing shot, Coach, establishing shot, cheerleaders, whatever it may be. First highlight, and you don't have to write first highlight. Just John Smith throws the ball, 20-yard touchdown to Jim Smith, Somerville 7, Goose Creek 0. Next play would be Goose Creek answers back, 30-yard touchdown run from Demetrius Simmons. Third highlight. Somerville intercepts Goose Creek pass and returns it 20 yards. That was Jim Taylor on the interception. Somerville goes on to win 29-17. Simple as that. Super, super simple. But be sure to write that script in the message of the we transfer. So when you send us the video, you'll send it send it to the newsroom, send it to, you know, send it to yourself and then you can forward it to the newsroom just so somebody will get it. If we're on the set, an editor will get it. If I'm doing something another sports person or a photog, anybody could download it and put it, you know, online for the show. But so in the message column, make sure you write the script. It doesn't have to be fancy. It just could be bullet points. But as long as I know the information, a good way to know the information so you remember it is after each highlight, shoot the scoreboard just so you know in referencing it. You don't have to put that shot in the highlight. Just literally shoot the scoreboard and you know, you just shoot the scoreboard. That way you'll know it was Somerville 7, Goose Creek 3, and it was in the second quarter. And that way, at least we have a little bit of reference for it. So once you edit everything together, you put the script, you export it, and you we transfer it out, you're good to go. Uh, that's all I need. As long as we get it from you, we're good to go. The earlier, the better. I know sometimes it's not feasible. But uh, just be in touch with me, email me or call me or text me, whatever it may be, if you have any questions. But don't overthink it. It's, it's not rocket science. It's just football. It's fun. If you mess up on a highlight, keep shooting it. We'll make fun of you for messing it up or we'll joke about it, but it's not something serious. It's, it's not, you know, don't give up on the play. You know, we could still explain what happened. Um, and, and yeah, and just know, give yourself the right times. If you know, give yourself time to edit. If you're knowing that you have 20 minutes in between games, well then, okay, well let's, th that 20 minutes, that's not an easy, you know, that's going to be a little while. So don't stay at your first game for an hour because then you're, you're just not going to have time to get to your second game. So just kind of budget your time, know the situation that you're in, highlights coming at you. Uh, if they go the other way, if it's an interception, it's going to go the other way. That's fine. Um, but it, and there's no written rules to anything. Nothing is stone clad. Everything changes in this whole situation. So if you have any questions, give me a buzz, but uh, I appreciate the help and uh, we'll be in touch.